Berkeley greater than greater than the Troy Colts rallied in the second half for a 2-1 victory over the Bloomfield Hills Blackhawks in Thursday's district semifinal contest. Trailing 1-0 at halftime, the Colts scored two second-half goals just 88 seconds apart to pick up their second straight come-from-behind victory of the playoffs. We were in the same position two days ago when we played Berkeley. We were down 2-0 and we came back from that. And I knew we could come back. They were composed and I have all the faith in the world in them and they believe in themselves, Troy head coach Daniel Tricoli said. I'm very proud of them. They're composed. They held their composure. They did it Tuesday. They did it today, and I'm very proud of them for their ability to do that, he added. Tara Broadbyun tied the score with 29.09 to play when she broke down the right flank and fired a shot that picked the far left corner from 20 yards out. Advertisement Haley Stewart then got the game winner when she converted another transition attack by the Colts just moments later, slotting a shot from the top of the penalty area past the charging goalkeeper with 27-41 remaining in the second half. We knew that their back line was susceptible to us pressuring them. We were trying to do it all game long, and it paid off for us in the one goal. We knew the patience would come, Tricoli said. Bloomfield had gotten off to a fast start, taking the early lead when Anastasia Curdy rifled in a shot from 16 yards out just 2.54 into the game. I think we came out strong, and it was great to see. I think we came out firing on all cylinders, and we were playing well. Bloomfield Hills head coach Alan Zakaria said. But the Colts made some defensive adjustments and the Blackhawks struggled to create quality opportunities after that as the Troy backline started to shut down the long balls over the top while the Troy midfield turned in a strong performance winning balls and recycling possession. With the win, Troy improves to 6-6-6 and moves on to face crosstown rival Troy Athens in Saturday's district final. Athens is Athens. Todd Hugh is an exceptional coach. He will absolutely have them ready to play us. We know what we're going to get. They know what they're going to get. And it's just going to be a battle, and we'll see who comes out on top, Tricole said. Bloomfield Hills finishes the 2nd of March 12. I want to thank our senior class and our captains. I think they've been a great asset to our program. They've built our program. They've built our culture. We had a great season, Sakaria said. I'm really proud of what the seniors brought to us for the last four years. They won two league championships in the last four years, and I'm extremely proud of what they've done to further our culture and build our program.